and we are live. Uh, hi. Hi, Charbox. Hello from Prague. Uh, how are you? We are fine. We had a bit of troubles with the refugees from Ukraine, and we have a, we are searching jobs for them and, uh, and and things like that. But that's reality of our days today. There's many, many, many refugees in uh, in, in Czech Republic, right? Um, to be honest, still still not so bad, not so not so many like in Poland. Thanks very much to our to our to our neighbors in, on on the north. And yeah, we are very doing doing our best. Yes. All right. It's not like over here in Denmark, where there's uh, very, very few coming. But we'll we'll talk about that in another. Yeah. Yeah. We, we we understand. We understand because people from Ukraine are close to our language. You know, our language is the is the most Western, most Western Slavic language. So we have there we had there half of the meaning meanings from Germany, and and with 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 Slovan accents. So so as you can hear me, as you can hear me, a lot of people from Western Europe all the time believe that I'm from Russia. Oh, there's uh, three three uh, uh, Ukrainian refugees that I know in in Czech, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, they're looking for jobs and stuff like that. And uh, um, and I, I think one of the reasons it's because it's not too far from Ukraine. They want to hopefully come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we the, the, the general expectation is that about fifty percent, fifty percent will probably go back. Let's hope the, 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 this craziness will not take so long time. Yeah, and let's hope there will be still space where they can come back. Anyway, uh, let me say that all Ukrainians are welcome in Czech because uh, we have also our own experiences with the with the with the with the our with our Russian Russian friends coming to the visit in tanks. Oh yeah, this needs to stop now. Uh, so one one of the ways to solve that is uh, through technology and smart people, you know, like uh, instead of uh, previous uh, century uh, thinking. So the the future is great technology that that can make things better. And you have a tech tech companies, right? Yeah, yeah. I am here today in name of company called Netayo, uh, which is doing something something like the smart PDUs or smart power sockets. Uh, thank you. And uh, I would like to show to your audience uh, all our products and let's discuss about pluses and minuses. So what is the idea of uh, uh, doing a smart power socket? Yeah, that's a very good, that's a very good question. Uh, to be honest, we are very helping me with the, with, the, with the first slide. So let me use, let me use, let me use the slide. Because first of the things I would like to say that our company is from Prague, as we said, and we are absolutely strictly focused to B2B. Uh, and that's 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 basically answer of your questions. Uh, we are saying every time that we would like to have in every single power socket we have on Netio product, we would like to have connected there some device where some someone is making money with. So we are not producing the smart power sockets to control your Christmas trees. Nothing bad about controlling your Christmas tree, but you have different kind of needs, even by price, even by long term quality. If you would like to switch on and switch off your your coffee machine or your Christmas tree from home, and that's something that's something you can see every time in all promotion. Uh, we would like to say that our products are here for controlling the lights, for controlling the TV screens, for the for the for the multimedia rooms, for the projectors, for the uh, keeping servers alive and things like that. So yes. Uh, that's the that's that's basically the overview and and what is basically Netio Netio products doing. Uh, so you have a smart uh, little arms SOC systems in there uh, doing some uh, so something is going on there where you yeah, need to yeah. have the, the network connection and be reliable and be exactly. smart in a smart way. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one on the left is our is our top selling product, and this is the this is the based on Linux still. But to be honest, today with the situation on the chip, it's it's, it's a bit complicated to keep going with the Linux version. So with with most of the other products, we are uh, moving to smaller smaller SOC and to have a bit more application oriented oriented products. Uh, most common question. From the from the people is basically what are you doing with this power socket? So okay, everybody can see the light and to to control his uh, light in his in his living room, but that's not exactly that's not exactly where we are going. Uh, Netio has a basically four main market segments. First one of them is what we call remote control and restarting, and that's typically if you have this situation that something something doesn't work somewhere, you and you are lazy to go there or it's too far. So you will have to you will have to you have to push just the restart button. So you can do it from your mobile phone. You can control it from your from your from your uh, from the cloud we provide. Uh, you can do it by scheduler, by scheduler in a week calendar whatever. 
So there can be even watchdog to ping or even the power consumption. So the, this kind of this kind of this kind of automatic restarts or and keep things keep things running is 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 the main part of our business. Uh, second is what we called AV drivers and digital signage. Uh, basically, we realized that all these screens and audio video systems need to be restarted sometimes. And I will talk about it in three slides about our biggest applications that uh, this is a very typical case. Uh, basically, we have a drivers for most of the systems on the market and uh, we would like to be easily connected to these systems. So that's the, that's the, that's the second, second, second application. Typical case, you have small shop, in the small shop, there is some something like RTI or control for system to control the to control the shop and all the lights and all the all the all the all the multimedia players and things like that. And for this kind of case, uh, can be useful for you sometimes to switch on some light scene to restart some media players, restart your satellite and TV tuner tuners and things like that. So that's 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 point two. Point three is more for engineers from the from the IT or for IT people ready for integration. We have a, a lot of uh, open API protocols since MQTT, JSON, JSON, Modbus, Modbus TCP, which is basically protocol in my age today, and things like that. So we are we are open for in all protocols you can imagine. And the last one, and that's a bit cherry on the cake, uh, that's something we call Parva Analysis. With Parva Analysis, it's quite complicated because there were a lot of a lot of uh, trials to 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 analyze the power consumption of the of the place from the electricity meter, but basically we realized that if you want to analyze the power from the electricity meter, uh, it's not for that. It's for it's for it's for charging you charging you money for electricity. But since you are connecting exactly one device to the to the to the one socket, and this is typically something mechanical. Uh, we can very easily analyze the the, the 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 graph or let's say the, the the curve of the of the power consumption in time, and based on that we can tell you, for example, how many coffees your coffee machine produced, or we can tell you how many times the garage doors were open and closed, and things like that. So this kind of analyze blocks we are now we are now trying to integrate into the device, and it's a bit challenging because basically every kind of analysis is different. And it's bit it's bit really it's bit really issue. So we have different kind uh, kind of the block for uh, analyzing if your TV screen is dropping down to the sleep mode or to the idle mode, or for example counting the coffees or counting how many minutes per day the, the the device connected to this one socket was in idle or in running mode. So, but this is this is really challenging technical stuff. The power analysis. A trouble is that it's really cherry on the cake and only five percent of our real business. Sorry, Charbax, I don't hear you. Sorry, uh, yeah. so that means you have a, a technology that can measure how much power is being used by each uh, device yes. that's connected to every socket? Yes, yes, yes. Not in all types. The, the cost-effective types are just switching, but, but, the, but the more than one half of them are metering exactly each one socket, and that's it. Basically, basically, again, sorry, you are asking me for my next slide. It's really not that a trick. Uh, so what the what our devices are doing? So it's basically PDU, so power distribution unit, uh, with one power input and several power outputs. Uh, there is there is there is it's it's network means it's connected to LAN really. Sometimes it can be Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi only. But to be honest, with Wi-Fi only devices, we had a lot of troubles. So we are trying to step back from Wi-Fi only devices, and. Uh, each, each output can be controlled, so you simply can switch on and switch off every single output. And there is no, no magic, there is no dimming, there is just a relay. But even for relay switching, we can do it in a certain quality. So for switching of the output, we have some technology we call zero current switching. We can talk about it later, but basically based on this technology, uh, we know that our relay will survive something like 10 times longer than you can expect from standard relay. And uh, so you are switching each one output to be on and off. And in some outputs, we have also the energy metering. So we are metering most of the parameters you can have from the, from the power output, uh, even including through power factor and things like that. Uh, every single output is calibrated in two points. We have a, we have a very precise metering below 1% in whole temperature range, of course, because we need to use it in the analyze tools. And, and that's the, that's the, that's the basic stuff. If you as a user, get the device first time on the table and you, your, your basic idea is okay how can i control this one output and that's what you want that's what you want to know so yes of course we have a web interface and you can open the web interface and switch on switch off each output simple 
yes, we have on some devices buttons, but to be honest, because because of the cost effectivity, we are trying to avoid the buttons in long term point of view. Uh, yes, we have mobile app. Uh, with mobile apps, it's a bit complicated uh, because for the professional segment, it's not really something you need. But uh, but we have to have them for the let's say edge of applications. And we have a, something we call Netio Cloud. Uh, so we have a centralized place where you can log in or from the mobile app, you can control it from the mobile app and you can control all your outputs. All these four functions can be basically integrated in simple Wi-Fi power sockets, which you can buy in Lidl or in Tesco by 20 euros. So where is the, where is the value? And that's exactly what we are saying is, okay, we are, we are, we, we, this, this, is, this is B2C product. And we are saying, okay, we are not B2C, we are B2B, so what, what's the difference? First, we have a plenty of industrial features since the firmware upgrades through the security and through the, through the documentation and stability of protocols and everything. Second, yes, the security is something what you are paying for in, in, in B2B. So we have, their, we have their SSL, we have their HTTPS in some products, and even the cloud is secured, for example. And last one thing, which is which is quite important, since first idea of the creating this company was that we wouldn't like to have this kind of device with open API, means the protocols are fully documented. Uh, once you implement it, uh, the protocol will not change you under your under your hands. So we have until today, we have customers with the Telnet based uh, installation since 2009, and they are still using the same Telnet protocol and it's still working. So long term stability is, is, is quite essential part for the b2b and that's exactly what the b2b difference is and uh sometimes uh i guess it's very important for uh, for 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 people to to not use too much power and have devices uh, powered off when they're mm -hmm. not in use and is mm -hmm. it a little bit uh, part of the idea that let's say you have devices that are off 99.9 .9 percent of the time but you want to be able to turn them on at the right time uh, yeah, but to be honest, Charbax, don't forget that we are talking about switching, really cutting off the power for the device. So the, we are not about switching on a sleep mode or idle mode to the running mode. That's that's on the on the manufacture of each device. So to be honest, uh, the, the 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 cost effectivity depends very much on the application. Let's talk about it by use cases because there are several good examples. But you are absolutely right. Uh, there are several. There are several. Several big needs are for the are for the uh, changing for the changing the the cost effectivity of of of, of stuff. Uh, for us, as for manufacturer, the very much important is to uh, have a low power consumption of the device itself, because it's used left to add their device, which will save you save you one kilowatt. If half of the kilowatt will be consumed by the device itself. So we are we are optimizing the devices very much to be green by the by the heating, so not to produce too much heating and to to have a low low power consumption, and that's what we are very much focused. So typically our power consumption is something like 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.7, 1.8 watt. More or less doesn't doesn't matter if we are talking about about four outputs or eight outputs device. So it could be uh, let's say a closed store that wants to turn on the lights. Uh, after 6 p.m. when they close the store, but they want to have some kind of things happening so people can watch from outside uh, something interesting happening in there. Yeah, typical typical case is more from U.S. because U.S. has different different uh, kind of application for energy. Uh, uh, I still remember my case when I was in U.S. in U.S. in hotel, and I was very desperately searching for central central switch when I was leaving the room, and I realized there is no. You have to switch each one lamp uh, off and on. And that was that was a bit shocking for me ten years ago when I was or fifteen years ago when I was first in US and in, in this reality. Anyway, uh, absolutely yes uh, for this for this kind of uh, saving energy. We have, for example, application where on the digital input of the of the of the device there is because on some devices. Let me show you. Let me show you a screen. Uh, typical typical product for that is 8QS, which uh, which is our which is our biggest product. In 8 US, we have the digital input physically. So there are, here are the sockets, outputs, and here is one digital input. This one digital input can be connected to the to the to the motion detector. And in some sitting rooms, uh, some some system integrators are doing the fact that if there is no motion during more than during more than 30 minutes or something like that, they will switch off some outputs, and they will keep only main 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 control screen saying, okay. Push the button if you would like to switch on uh, the, the technology for the meeting room again. 
So this is this is this is one of the few cases for for saving energy. But we have, I think, better in our in our in our use cases. Uh, and by the way, yeah, let's talk about the use cases because that's the that's the most most popular typical topic. So uh, this is the case from South uh, from France and Spain. Uh, we are talking about the about about the big supermarket where is this kind of screen hanging under the under the under the roof there is a platform like that for these two screens uh here you can see the Kramer unit for the distributing of the of the um, uh, screen signal through hdmi and here you can see the entire unit controlling the powering of these two screens and the and the kvm unit or splitter uh basically uh what what this kind of customer is using it that this kind of commercials are are uh, screening all the time but the real tv in real life is time to time hanging on so need to be restarted time to time and what we are doing here is that in, if this happened so we will analyze that and if there is one minute screen black hmm, okay if there is five minutes screen black we are triggering it and we are doing autonomously restart of this one screen and when it's restarted we are sending the email and this email is sent through the cloud because if you have 1000 like this like this like this uh, project is if you have 1000 devices or more uh, you don't want to send each one device will send you through some some smtp server and so, so so on so you would like to have some centralized system so because of that uh, restart is local and the cloud is only a great tool for central management and email alerting so this is the this is the typical case the typical case in in uh, in uh, in uh, Spain and France, uh, more than more than two thousand screens, more than one thousand devices, because every time two screens is one. So uh, this this could be like very big malls, uh, supermarkets. Typically, uh, yeah, there was a big boom of this kind of application for digital signage during the COVID times because the, a lot of advertisement agency has a budget for outdoor 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 advertisement, and there was no outdoor. So, so, so there was a big boom of that during the during COVID, and uh, I have to say that this 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 this, this partner a company called Instore, they were very professional and they managed all the installation within within one thousand installation is not easy easy task, so so we managed in very nice way. And your so company that, is just perfect for this market. Uh, you like um, are you the leader? Yeah, you must. Uh, in Europe, we have there, there, there are basically two companies in Europe uh, doing this kind of stuff. Uh, most of the others are are abroad, or let's say out of the continent. And uh, I believe that, that 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 we are sharing this market. And Netio is a bit more focused for not really. Uh, uh, there is a lot of PDUs you can find which are focused to the rack. To be in 19 inch 19 inch installation and uh, focus to the data centers netio is to be honest not so much focused to data centers because in data centers we don't have added value uh, we are much stronger in very fragmented applications like this one is or like 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 some some others are where you need a small and you need a really smart device which is doing half autonomously half connected to some system and we are we are excellent in so many open api drivers we have we, more or less we support every single protocol and we more or less support most of the most of the popular systems if if some of our if some of our audience would like to implement their own system uh, let's talk with us because let me let me show let me show the let me show that uh, in our support we have a lot of integration partners and you can see how many softwares and uh, systems we are integrated with and we are adding more and more those those you can see are only the official one above that we have even the wiki and in our internal wiki we have a, we have by community a lot of tools from python from from for, for java and from from home assistant fam itzinga and all the other systems which can be which can which can be used with our system uh to control the sockets easily can so, you can you go into deeper a little bit on those all those companies there uh okay. like some examples of um what kind of uh uh uh, synergy goes on okay uh yeah good 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 question crestron we probably know everybody crestron and control four are uh, are two leaders for the uh, for the automation of the of the shops and audio video audio video uh, installations and small commercial commercial units 
uh, that's that these both are American brands in Europe. They are local brands in each market. But uh, but yes, that's it. Uh, another wine is Bright Sign. That's typical the typical uh, digital signage applications and player for the digital signage advertisement. Uh, Elan Elan RTI are uh, let's say the let's say uh, following the control for and Crestron a, a lot. Loxon is a very nice and very nice system from Austria. It's a complete system for out for basically home automation. One of the one of the very one goods. And uh, above each one brand you can see here there is the there is the there is the application node by the way that you can call we call an and some numbers so there is application node and uh, we have their drivers how to how to make it connected together uh, there are some some screenshots how to configure how to configure to make it working together and uh, how to connect with with in this case Loxon system Loxon is very nice for the for the home automation system but their their power sockets are uh, uh radio so they are not typically they are not typically connected by lan and they have a they have they don't have they have typically one or two single sockets if i remember they don't have a bigger bigger pdu so that's why their customers sometimes using using netio but to be honest netio for the for the Loxon customers is again only cherry on the cake it's only something special something special for their needs uh so that's it yeah microsoft is microsoft is big issue because the integration with 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 with, uh, with microsoft azure it's actually a topic of the day uh we have a lot of we have a lot of troubles with that because uh, they have their own uh, system of authorization for the for the iot hub and and it's 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 a bit complicated for the for the mass mass installations because uh to have a to have a easy easy deployment for 1000 pieces with this with the system is really complicated what would be the idea what why why would people want to request for the azure uh, integration uh, i have a, i have a lot of customers from from um, typically from medical case or from the laboratories or something like that where where uh, let me let me let me let me let me come back uh, when we will talk about the use cases i have okay. there two or three uh, which are exactly about the azure but uh, basically if you would like to some kind of analyze about the power consumption typically these customers are doing that in azure uh, because they would like to analyze how many times how many minutes what kind of devices is is, is is there is a drop down in power consumption in some device yeah this this is somehow realized well in most cases in azure and i'm 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 okay with that uh there is one customer in switzerland using netio on on the in the hospitals on these on these small tables which are movable so you can move from the one round room to another room and they are they are using the they, they based on the based on the analyzing the power consumption of the small table they are telling how many times uh, per day the this the small table is used and for how many hours so they are analyzing if they need more this movable movable devices and movable tables or not and uh and this is this is connected by by lan or by uh, lan in the end of the day lan and so so you typically take this this daily small table to the next to the patient next to the patient bed you plug to the power and plug to the lan and that's it and all table is doing with all the scopes and all this all this all this uh sono and e uh, and other 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 devices so that's that's that's, that's typically is used uh so this one case this one case was was, was quite big Typical case for the for the smaller project is this one. This is the this is the this is the rack of small AV installation. We have a lot of installations like that, where uh, a real customer is using uh, our PDU PDU system because of one single reason. Sharebox, I'm sure because you have electrical background, probably obviously, uh, I'm sure you know how to wire how to wire the electrical stuff. But probably, probably in your country is the same like like we have in Czech. Means if you want if you want to touch 230 volts, you need to have certification for that. Do you have same system in your country? Yeah, I, I guess maybe yeah. it's dangerous. No, no, it's not dangerous. But you should you should be certified by the by the by the rules, and you should to follow the rules. So basically, you need to have kind of certification or authorization, or or do you have to do tests periodically or something like that? In in Czech, it's I think you have you have to have this test every five years or every ten years or something like that. That if you are doing that, you can commercially wire anything connected to two hundred thirty volts, and you can use a screwdriver and power power lines. Fine, but trouble is that most of the people in AV world does not have this authorization. So okay it's just piece of wire and, and a screw you know how to do that but because you are not authorized to do that 
you, you, it's better to stay out of that. And this is exactly the reason why people are using in these racks our Netayo power sockets because uh, this is one of the this is one of the big difference between let's say Central Europe plus Germany, and uh, sometimes they call it East Europe plus Germany, and uh, the Western Europe that people in uh, people in Central Europe and Germany are typically typically uh, the, the the people are working in this business are typically coming from the electrical routes. So they have electrical education. So they are more, they are, for them, it's more easy to handle with 230 volts. Uh, invest, it's, it's more separated. So uh, in the end of the day, what I want to say, because you are not authorized to work with 230 volts, uh, it's easier to buy the PDU unit. This is the, this is, in this case, there is a control for driver, or control for controller. And there are two PDUs in this, in this photo controlling this rack. And why are you using it in this rack? Typical case, you need remote restart satellite tuners, tuners because the tuners are hanging up from time to time. You need to restart router on ISP modem. Uh, you need to control the HDMI switches or things like that, which need to be sometimes switched on, sometimes are hanging, and uh, and you need to restart them. And you need to make a power-up sequence if you have their UPS. So so to be sure that that you are switching on in the, the, the outputs audio amplifiers or UPS in a certain sequence, one by one by one. So, so these are the typical installation installations of our products in this business. Uh, so it sounds a little bit like uh, you're adding uh, smartness to the grid or something like that. People usually connect their things to the power and uh, they would like to do something, but, and you kind of like yeah. adding something smart behind uh, the yes. idea of connecting yes. power. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, anything around the power, anything you can control about the power. Because since then, uh, you can you can change your lights. Let's let's imagine your studio. In your studio, uh, it's easy, but because of because of because of the tile, you can push one button and change the light behind you and change the change change, change the scene. Because you switch off twelve or 15, 15 different lights and 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 audio system even and things like that. That's 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 a typical applications we are what, what we are what what our devices are used for. How about uh, an, like an office where there's a lot of computers and lights and printers and everything needs to be turned on in the morning when they come in or no? Uh, there's not really added value. Uh, next case is from, it's from beautiful building. It's, uh, it's uh, this, this building won some architectural prize. It's in Estonia. It's a local, local power grid provider. Uh, yeah, you can see here a beautiful, beautiful control center or operation center. But in reality, uh, the Netayo is used uh, to switch on the power for the for the for the uh, routers uh, because there are two basically uh, two ways or two options for the fiber optic connectivity. And they are what they are in, you, uh, doing is that they are switching on the backup one if the if the main one is off. So that's the that's the case from Estonia, and we are more or less on most of the transformation stations to switch to control the power for the for that. By the way, two weeks ago, uh, that was typical case similar similar situation where I was calling me the IT guy from some production factory, and they said we have here production line from supplier, and a supplier would like to have the 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 four um, G modem to to control the to be able to make maintenance for the for the production line, and when this is enabled, we have to give him a backdoor to all our system completely. So what this, what this, what this IT guy said is, I would like to get from you a simple scheduler that if I will click in your, in your, in your cloud or in your device or even from my mobile phone, I will enable this output immediately. Okay. But I would like to be 100% sure that in one minute before the midnight today, the, your, your device will switch off the modem. And simple usage for that was okay. They will call me tomorrow morning. They need to they need to upgrade firmware or whatever. I will do that. I will enable it. But the the, the back door to the network will not stay there for too long time. It will be every time only during the time they need to make maintenance. So yes, we were able to do it in standard product by the way. In standard setup of the scheduler, we were able to do that. And and this is a bit special case again. So yes, everything special about the power, about the timing, about the metering, and about this kind of stuff. That's 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 where Natayo can be very useful. Uh, and this is exactly this case what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the, you have there two connectivity. Typically, one is fiber optic, second one is 4G modem or something like that, and uh, optical network solution termination. And yeah, this is very this is very typical case where people are switching on something. Uh, let me remind that Netayo has 
feature inside as a as a as a as a watchdog. So we can even ping to some IP address and based on the answer switch on switch on backup channel or something like that. Energy is like the foundation of uh, our society. We need to connect things and need power. Uh... And we need to handle the power in a smart way. Yes. Uh, this is this is this is this is this is your 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 first question about the saving energy. This is nice project from Côte d'Azur. Uh, uh, that's this 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 map you can see on the screen is basically the map of the small hotel. Each one number is small villa, small bungalow. And in every every small villa, there was kind of this kind of small boiler for for electrical for for by, by electricity to make hot water. Uh, basically, all the hotel is open for two hundred days per year, so only let's say more summertime. But average time of usage every single villa is only something like fifty percent. That means that in beginning, fifty percent of all energy for this for these boilers were wasted means 18 quadrat meter of water was heated every single day for nothing. So what our partner did is he used our Wi-Fi uh, connected uh, power sockets. He is controlling this heating element. By the way, before you catch me, of course, this is not heating element from real from real uh, boiler. This is this this heating element is something you can make 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 your coffee on the table. But that's the that's a nice that it looks like. So uh, we are switching on this heating element only in a moment you pick up the keys on the reception of the hotel. So in a moment you return your keys, we switch off the electricity for the boiler again. So that's, yes. that's how, does that, how the keys connected to that. Uh, because in the reception, they have a hotel system and hotel system has open API. So the system integrator company Habi, uh, Hibu, company Hibu from France, they they made the integration that basically they connected from one side to this hotel 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 uh, local system to read which one which one which one uh, bungalow is occupied or not and from the second side they sent through the wi-fi signal to the power socket to switch it on and off and basically seven seven villas are connected to one wi-fi network to cover it and uh this and it's it's controlling this this, this power uh to be honest, I don't know return of investments of this project, and probably it was power, uh, paid from some 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 uh, some donation or something like that. But the project like that, we have more and more. It's possible they could save thousands and thousands of euros on electricity usage, and it will be more and more because the price of electricity is growing and growing and growing. How much more you pay now for your bill? My my bill is now fifty percent higher than three months ago. Yeah, the same. Yeah. And I'm, 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 I hope it doesn't continue like that. They could go even higher. We are, we are basically, basically, let's say that uh, that we are in March 2022, as as uh, if you if you will see that from the record. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another case of energy saving, more close to our AV AV business, is this case. This is this is this is a project from Poland actually, where in kino or uh, yeah cinema. Uh, there is audio system with a lot of amplifiers. Uh, basically, basically there is something like eight to fifteen channels, and these amplifiers uh, they are typically they are typically controlled, uh, and there is a there is a there is an audio system for that. The uh, trouble is that this this cinema was built by American Plans, it's American network of cinemas, and uh, the, the the power sockets are all of them are connected to one breaker. So what the system integrator in Poland did, uh, he connected to the software, which is which is screening, which is which is saying now we are playing the movie, now we are waiting, and based on that, five minutes before the screening, they switch off, uh, switch on all the all the electricity for the amplifiers, and after the movie, they switch off again. And the question is why? Yeah, because this super Dolby high quality audio is basically eating a lot of energy, even there is a silence. Uh, and it might even damage and use up the the speaker systems if they're no like no no no, no. You, you need no? a time and you need a sequence but but you are not switching on for five minutes you are switching for two three hours because that's the movie so that's that, that that's fine but in this case 40 percent of electricity was saved because this audio system were quitting quite a lot so in this case return of investment was only 11 months 
the pure return of investments for the for the system was 11 months that's quite a lot so so uh, if if we will be able to find uh, cases like that it's really cost effective to to make even the energy saving projects nice and uh, so uh, i guess you do you have hundreds or thousands of uh, use cases a lot of Not customers so doing um, lots of different things a lot of customers are doing a lot of different things, but to be honest, we don't know about all of them, and to and to and to document them is quite complicated. Uh, but yeah, you are say, you're right. It's a lot of it's a it's a like a like a like a components for very different systems. Uh, do you know? Do you have this, per, this this personal experience that there is a there is a, a power grid power grid failure, and after after the whole city is switched on to the electricity again, your breaker is down. Do you have this experience? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. so. So, so the reason for that is very simple. If you if you have there two or three UPSs in one electrical circuit, so basically two or three UPSs in parallel to one breaker, when they when all of them starting in the same time, there is a, there is a peak, and this peak is is causing is causing this kind of problem. So, what you need to do is to make their sequence. So, let me show let me show the let me show the animation. Uh, so to protect the, the to don't have to go there and trip it again manually and then one by one switch on, the Netio will do the, this, this 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 function instead of you. So basically, when we are switching first one on, okay, wait for a certain time, then second one on, wait for second certain time, and then again. By the way, if you if you if you buy new Netio and switch it on, it's not making click everything is opened, but click. Click, 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 because 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 it's better to to switch one by one by one exactly for these cases. Uh, this time can be defined for each output, and it's a very useful useful tool. Uh, in the end of the day, you're gonna save tra tra travel forty five minutes there and back only to switch on in certain sequence. Uh, we are lucky. We are lucky in 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 Denmark or in Prague that we don't have so many outages. But uh, but for example, people from 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 South Italy or or, or some 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 areas where the electricity Texas. is not so more. <laughs> but uh, to be honest, Texas yeah, Texas joking. Texas does not have so many small failures. There was one longer. But if you have if you have if you have every month or every two months the the, the power grid issue, uh, it's really useful to to do it like that. Of course, technically, uh, will be the right solution to change the breaker. Uh, trouble is that typically it's not your own building. The building is by someone else. You have to search for electricity guy. You have to call him. Someone have to pay him. And if you, it's, it's a, if it's a rental space, it's complicated. So that's why that's why that's why uh, Netio uh, has a lot of applications for that. Okay, uh, I'm almost in the end of the in the end of the use cases. This is this is typical case vending machines. Yes, for vending machines we can do remotely restarts, local restarts, and even saving electricity uh, for that. This is a nice case. Uh, this photo you can see is a polar station from from the from the Italy. So Italy has a polar station con called Concordia, and uh, sometimes uh, this this case is about you don't have to uh, travel 400 kilometers, even 400 meters is enough. If you can see on the photo here in this smaller thing, it, this is 400 meters far from the from the from the main from the main uh, station, and there is there is a leader observatory. So it looks like this container, and you can see that the very old Netio is still there. And the switching off this 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 industrial equipment in a the moment there is a storm, or there can, it can be damaged by the by the weather or something like that. So then then uh, then it's, this can be quite useful application. So uh, Netio works down to minus fifty degrees. No, this container is heated by elect by electronics inside, even because of the because of the scientific stuff. But to be honest. We are we are testing each product for something like minus 20, 25. And uh, the temperature wide, wide of the temperature is one of the parameters we are we are very proud to say that we are industrial because industrial means uh, you can you can full uh, you can support full load in wild wide temperature range. That's one of the that's one of the differences against against the simple commercial products. What's the secret of uh, making a product that works in this wide range? Or you don't have to say if it's a secret, but well, like you, yeah. the the components have to be high high higher quality than. Uh... Yeah, components quality today. Uh, if you if you are oriented in the component business, you know that in these days you are happy to buy any component which will work. It doesn't matter about. Uh, 
doesn't matter doesn't matter what kind of automotive or non automotive today you are happy you get anything you are able to produce uh, acceptable quality product anyway uh, yes uh, we have a wider range of the components that's true but the main issue is you have to think how the people are really using this product uh, so uh, the less power we dissipate uh, higher temperature we can be used for uh, in the in the in the in Europe, it's not a big issue. But if you have a customers in Dubai or Emirates or or something like that, and they have an application next to the next to the big towers with the cameras on the desert, there is really the the the, the, the temperature there is something like fifty five Celsius in normal. If you if you if you have fifty or fifty five Celsius and you put there some electronics, be sure there will be plus ten. So. It's easy there, 60, 65, 70, and you need to be able to operate. Maybe not for full load, but you need to be able to operate. So every single single zero zero one watt you do not dissipate will help you to to achieve this these high temperatures. Low temperatures, it's another issue. Low temperatures are about the quality of components, starting of the comp start, starts, uh, the cold starts, and things like that. Uh, mainly to be to be resistive, uh, resi um, resi um, to be to be protected against the the humidity, which can be issue in this in this kind of situation. So so yes, we are trying and we are thinking about applications that like that. For example, one of our customer is um, is the highway grid in in UK, and if you have a if you have the if you have the electrical cabinet uh, next to the next to roads. In uh, Northern Ireland or in the in Scotland, you can be sure that in the night there is minus minus fifty, minus twenty. So you have to be able to operate in these temperatures. Yes. Uh, so uh, not to say a joke or anything, but I, I would guess in a place like Denmark, if you use an Intel CPU x86, it could, it could go to sixty five degrees even in Denmark. I'm joking, yes. but but you, so you 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 kind of like uh, maybe you are. Uh, getting towards the the most uh, energy efficient socs that don't don't do uh, yes, too much yes 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 exactly uh that's by the way that's one of the troubles with wi-fi because wi-fi is consume a lot of energy and uh, have a lot of power dissipation uh ethernet generally the the rj45 is not uh the, the drivers are not really uh, energy efficient so there is some power dissipation from that, but where we can do it. So, for example, with relays, we are we are controlling a lot uh, how much current we are sending to relay. If we are sending them uh, standard standard full load or some PVM and things like that, that can this 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 these tiny things can help a lot. And in if you if you zero watt to zero watt in the end of the day, you really you really you really have effective device. That's it. But there are billions and billions and billions of Wi-Fi and Ethernet uh, chips and uh, everywhere in the world. So uh, uh, shouldn't they be very, very energy efficient by now? They are. They have certain efficiency. Why not? Uh, uh, efficiency, efficiency is one thing. Uh, easy to use is second one. Yeah, to have a super low energy something where 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 you have to very complicated to make it working. You have to balance all the time price, efficiency, and long term stability. And, that's, and that's, so, that's so do, do you talk specifically about what chipset you use, or you have different uh, partners? Mm, yeah, we have a several. We have a several chips uh, because we have two platforms. We have the Linux platform. And there is a real tech chip about the, about the Ethernet, and then we have a basically system on chip STM uh, ESP32 chip uh, in the in the in, in, in the second platform. All right, and uh, I hope that real tech and ST microelectronics are uh, um, able to deliver everything you ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No with, 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 with ST microelectronics, we have a lot of a lot of lot of um, uh, touch. Again, don't forget in Prague they have big research research office, and half of our uh, school friends and friends are working there. So of course we are we are we are quite 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 connected with with ST micro. Hello everybody, by the way. <laughs> so probably they are like very happy to work with you. Every time you have a challenge or something, they'll be like, we're right there. Uh, basically, yes. So, so, so this case, this case can be interesting for you. Uh, this case is from Chile. Uh, this is the mine, uh, and in this mine, in this building like that, uh, this hole is 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 high, something like uh, 30, 35 meters. And what we are talking is the robot who is who is tightening and making stronger this construction pillows. So these pillows, 
uh, with, with 18 meters high of the construction needs to be needs to be built and needs to be maintained. So for that, there is a robot which you can see here. By the way, uh, maybe you recognize Charbax that this device here is Universal Robots from Denmark. This 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 robot 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 uh, hand. And there is a, there is this uh, tightening 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 electricity uh, machine, uh, which is tightening the screws and which cut the the screw when 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 the length is fine. And for this machine, we are using or the, the Custis customers are using Neteo to analyze the power consumption of these tools, because since they can they, since they analyze the power consumption, they can make they can make the pro whole process much faster. So they simply analyze if the if the if the if the screw is tightened enough, if it's enough from the, the because they know from the power consumption of the of the of the tool, they switch off the process and keep going for the next screw or something like that. So that's the that's the that's the crazy crazy case from the from the uh, with Universal Robots machine. By the way, because of that, we are supported by ROR, which is the platform for the robots tools, and we have a drivers there. For a tile. So that's that's crazy case, and we are coming to the case you are asking for. This is this is this is this is uh, this is laboratory of one big uh, known uh, research medical company in uh, nearby Birmingham. Uh, in this place, we have something like two hundred seventy power sockets. Uh, each one is connected to some uh, laboratory equipment. And in this in this uh, laboratory, basically, we are measure how many minutes per day this device was in idle mode and in usage mode. Uh, sorry, that was the next case. Uh, based on that, uh, this is this is exactly the case which is which is uh, where is used the Microsoft Azure in the most of the projects. And uh, we are able to tell to the to the owner of laboratory which device is used, how many minutes per day, and if they should buy one more, or if this this device is unused. And uh, in combination with RFID cards on each each idle, they are able to 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 say who is using and which kind of device, and that's good for budgeting. So uh, so to split the cost of the laboratory between different teams. And uh, is there some kind of AI going on behind or? Uh, I have a, you can I have also a, I have, a, have, a, yeah. can I have, have a, cameras and also no. uh, recognize people. Uh, to, be, to be to be honest, to be honest, I haven't been on this place. Uh, our partner did it, uh, and uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think there is only there is only the power consumption, and until I know, even this power consumption data are connected to separated Wi-Fi through the through the CDMA modem or through the through the LTE modem sent to the Azure analyzed in the Azure and it's very it's very uh, this project is very careful about the people and people's identity and who is to, to, to don't be connected to network and things like that so if there's like 20 devices connected uh, right there you would have to have uh, several sockets along the room basically yes you can see that this the sockets in the, on the on the roof here, here they are. They are. They are connected in a sailing, typically. So, so either they are in a sailing, either either they are under the tables, both options. So that's the that's the that's the case from Birmingham. Uh, this is a bit funny case from 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 Aquarium, that we have a customers which are using simple attire to control the light and to to control the water pumps in different defined times, so they can they can feeding the the fish. Uh, by the by the food, uh, the, this customer was even trying to analyze from the cosinus fee if uh, if in the water pump because the water pump is switched on sometimes and from the cosinus fee he can say if the filter is full or not. But yeah, it depends very much on the kind of motor and kind of kind of kind of pump. So it's not general general recommendation uh, what to use. So that's the that's the that's the, that's the case for the for the aquariums and i'm and i'm in the end of my of my of my use cases to be honest and just to make a summary because we are talking about this and this and that and that uh in the end of the day i would like to summarize a bit from the engineering point of view that uh the net is used to power starting manually so you can you can restart something somewhere from different 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 sources second what we are doing is that there can be power starting automatically so we are able to restart something based on the power consumption and based on the ping. 
Uh, next we can do is the power control from audio video systems. So basically, uh, if there is a touch screen on the wall controlling hold the shop or hold the building, we are able to we are able to connect the power socket to this to this touch screen and be controlled from this touch screen or from this from the system. Uh, we have a lot of customers in the museums and small shops. That's uh, that's quite that's quite that's quite popular now because a lot of museums can use an attire without complicated system. So they say oh, all we need is to have a scheduler, which is which is which is working from nine o'clock in the morning till five o'clock in the evening, and they typically use a flick button. Do you know flick button, Charbax? And uh, no. Wow. Okay. Let me show you. This is really this is really a useful tool. Uh, here in the integrations, there is a flick. Uh, it's a it's an American startup, but connected to Sweden. So even you can find it in in IKEA time to time. And it's really useful tool because basically, basically we have application now 52, how to work it, but this is quite nice description. This is the gateway connected to LAN, uh, programmed from your mobile app. So you have to program it completely from the mobile app, but it's standalone. So it's not connected to any cloud or something like that. And these are small, small buttons. And each button is connected by, by Bluetooth to this gateway. Uh, there is small battery in the button, so it's, it, it, it can live for several years and several hundreds, hundreds uh, pushes. And you can, you can send three messages, basically, through each button. One push, double push, and long push. And uh, these, three these three messages can be, can be programmed in the, in the application, like you can see here, to control something on the local network. So here you can see the application, how is it, how is it programmed. And it's fully working on local network only. And you can say that each one, each one command can switch on several entire outputs. So there can be, it's quite simple to make a system like that, which is going on the scheduler. And you will then put there this one button to the local stuff saying, okay, push, push double to switch on, push once long to switch everything off. And that's all, that's all, that's all you have to do in museums. So we have a quite a lot of applications from museums uh, for this, for this, for this uh, simple, simple system. I remember that uh, Amazon were selling these buttons. They were very cheap uh -huh. and I uh -huh. bought a uh -huh. lot of them and people could hack them and do if then, then that uh, and stuff like that. But, but then but, but it, but it wasn't for sale anymore. But and then, I think that's when people said flick. Right? Uh, exactly. By the way, this is a very good example. Why, what's the difference between B2C and B2B segment? Uh, that's exactly, that's exactly because we have a lot of customers who are coming and say, why should I pay 90, 80 or 100 euros for the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi connected power socket when I can buy the same by 25 bucks in Lidl. And I say, feel free to buy it in Lidl, but, uh, there will be no firmware update after three months or six months. And if there will be any kind of bug, nobody will help you at all because we have our documentation, we have our protocols, we have our support. Uh, just, 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 just for example, uh, about Netio, about the, the about the protocols. Uh, we support a lot of open API protocols. So if you are coming to our website, there is a lot of protocols we support. To each one protocol like that, we have a full description. We have a full, full, full definition about that. So you can you can go and we can tell you exactly what's going on, how to make it working. We have example how to use it and. In 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 uh, download, you can even have a even 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 have a, the the protocol fully discovered, so you can see here you can see here each one protocol exactly exactly described, and this protocol is stable long term. So once you make integration now, it will still working even after three four five years, and this is exactly what the difference between B two B and B two C. So so if you want to have something long term, use 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 B two B product and not B two C. That's 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 nice. That's nice. That's nice connection to this to this story with this Alexa. No, no, no. What was the number of this of this button? From from uh, I remember. Yeah. I was I was I was pl playing with that too. Yeah, it was it was a really nice nice thing. A uh, trouble was that there was second generation. It was totally different than the first one, and then then it disappeared. Hmm. You product. had to buy a, a thing, and then every time you push the button, uh, it would order Pampers to your home. Exactly. Or I would order right. some washing liquid or toilet paper yes. or something. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, next case we are we are focused are is power sequencing for audio video devices because you need to make uh, power sequencing sometimes to to switch on things in in right one. Uh, we have a lot of customers in testing and quality laboratories. A lot. 
because we are because our special special switching technologies uh, zero current switching or zero voltage switching we have a lot of laboratories which are doing a thousand and thousand of cycles with our with our devices and yes we have a lot of companies and partners we are which are using integration with our with our software and system in cloud or even local level so that's it yeah and let's let's not forget the last one last one issue we have also a lot of uh crypto and mining customers uh which optimize the power consumption or analyze the mining mining servers and things like that so that's all the use cases of natayo and uh generally we are proud to be used in these companies uh, of course we are just manufacturer so we are not doing installations so all most of these projects we know are because of our partners who are open to 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 share or who need a technical support all right but uh, is, is there a, a way to think that it, when you do b2b that you might do stuff that's so stable and great that you might consider doing some sometimes some products for the b2c market it might be the more uh, advanced b2c market uh, Sharbax, it's complicated because if you are doing certain level of support, we are ready to spend five, six hours with the customer. If he has troubles with integration, if he has troubles with our MQTT, are you able to do that with B2C customer? Mm, not really. And if we will produce a B2C product by B2C price, how to separate it? How to, how to, how to, how to recognize which one customer deserves better support than the second one customer? Uh, to be honest, we have what what we have today is in our entire cloud. Uh, we have the cloud 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 functionality, and in the cloud functionality, we have a two line system. Means there is some some basic price for basic remote switch on switch off, and that's super cost effective, super cheap. And in parallel to that, we have there we have there a second second set of features. We call it premium, the same like Amazon. So we call it premium and there is, you can enable premium for certain output. And if you have premium, you have much faster sampling of the values. You can make some graphs, you can make some analyze and uh, alerting by, by devices and things like that. And even this is quite complicated to explain to the customers. So, so basically if you are a Mercedes, you cannot produce, you cannot produce that chair. Basically, basically, basically like that, because you still have to stay Mercedes in, in terms of technical, uh, customer support technical support and then yeah that's why that's why mercedes has uh, has uh, has uh, some other brands like uh, like a smart, smart. Not, not nothing against smart it's beautiful that's my car. first car <laughs> it's a beautiful car nothing against smart just it's not mercedes yeah it's a different name right yeah, yeah. so 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 that's why that's why that's why we don't want to do really b2c product anyway what we are what we are thinking for example right now is uh, in these days we are preparing a new product this new product will be will be uh, dedicated for installation behind tvs so it's flat small one with small house with small, small with only two outputs options uh, with lan interface because we realize that wi-fi is really not not reliable enough for for reliable installations and and uh, because we are testing the market in these days, for example, what we are doing is that we decided that we will come with this product in June, but we will come with the 3D printed housing. Because we are not sure how to make housing and this, to make housing is quite big investment and we want to be sure. So we decided at first, first, let's say 200 boxes we will print on 3D printer. Uh, and then, then when we will be 100% sure how the, how the, how does, how, what will be the reaction of the market, then, then uh, come with the professional housing. Is it possible that some, uh, uh, let's say, smart kind of brand wants to partner with you because you're the expert in network power socket and they want to partner with you doing something that they can sell 10,000, 100,000 pieces of uh, to more like a uh, consumer? Yeah, to be honest, we are not IKEA. IKEA is able to produce 100,000 of devices so, so, so super cheap in acceptable quality that we are fascinated by that. Uh, but, uh, you're right about this kind of partnership. Right now, for example, we have one partnership with a company which is doing a lot of, uh, let's say, the tools uh, powered by the electrical batteries. And uh, the charger for these tools is quite demanding. So let's say uh, two to three kilowatts uh, is, the, is, the, is the demanding for the charger. So if you're coming after the, after the whole day work on the gardening or something like that, or with, the, with these tools, you need to plug them somewhere 
and to be sure that overnight well, it will be it will be simply charged and in the morning all of them will be charged but you cannot switch on all the charges in certain in, in the same time switch on because your breaker will go down because you don't have enough current for that so you need something like uh something like uh a time time based system for switching on and switching off to charge all these batteries and this is a very good example of the specialized industrial customer who came and we are doing on the project to be able to use in beginning our standard product for the for the for the charging the batteries and later on uh, we will probably produce special product for them but they are they have they are selling thousands and hundreds of thousands of these tools but there are not so many not so many big locations where they need to charge 50 50 in one time all right i guess sometimes maybe some some uh, devices once they're uh uh, perfected and like uh, up fully optimized and maybe they can be outsourced to a different kind of like uh, Chinese factor or something that makes them faster, like in a specific, you know, like uh, because somebody wants a lot of them. But yes, but to be honest, I have to say that B2B market is never about a lot. It's about long term stability quality all the time, because uh, that's the difference between B2B and B2C, really. B2C is about big volume right now and then nothing. By the way, maybe you remember Empower. Do you remember Empower? Uh, yeah i think so it was it was it was it was brand from from company from us company ubiquity which is doing a lot of which is doing a lot of uh, the microwave uh, connections and antennas and uh, and wi-fi and things like that something like 10 years ago eight years ago they came with the small pdus or small power sockets for home applications with uh, some big centralized system in the cloud behind and things like that it was very it, it, by the way it was quite a good product but in the end of the day, they cancel the project. They say switch off the cloud from one day to another cloud, another day. And, and sorry, guys, uh, the cloud was for free. By the way, that's the reason, Sharbaks, why our cloud is not for free. Our cloud, and it's not our cloud, is okay, there is a welcome credit. So first three years, you have it for free, more or less. Yeah, but after that you have to pay. And since first moment we are saying this is paid service, because if you pay for something, you can you can understand it as a reliable. Yeah, yeah. There, there are so many uh, cloud, uh, huge cloud providers, uh, like uh, you were mentioning before, Microsoft and there's a Google's and the Amazon, mm -hmm. AWS and all that. Do they all try to call you uh, and say, hey, uh, we want you to? Uh, some companies doing the based on based on them doing things. But to be honest, uh, for these big guys, I will be happy if AVS and Microsoft Azure will follow the MQTT standards and we will be able to connect data in standard MQTT because all their Lambda and IoT hub Ah, a lot of nightmares because because it's 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 quite easy or oh no, no it's complicated to connect them a single one device you have on the table and it's bloody nightmare to connect their 100 of devices which are installed on remote locations and yeah um sometimes the security is so big issue that the final final solution is not not really usable and that's the that's the that's the troubles with that Okay, let me switch quickly to the products just to have a just to have a quick overview about that. So basically, uh, as a product, Netio has today PowerPDU 4C and 4PS, which is basically the same product. There are tiny differences. Uh, there is a bigger brother called 8QS. So this is one U one U unit for the rack. Uh, then there is this power cable family, which are the bunch of small power cables uh, to connected by Wi-Fi with different combination of the power sockets. Uh, DIN rail DIN rail based power DIN and uh, and the power box uh, with a three sockets or power boxes four sockets. By the way. Uh, uh, in English, we should call it power strip, but to be honest, it sounds too cheap. So we decided to use power box because we are on continental English. So uh, all these products, we don't have so many of them. Uh, in the end of the day, covered by the entire cloud, which is this, which is this, which is the central place where you can connect all these devices to, and uh, we understand it also as a product. And the power cable will be will be uh, will be now added with the new product, as I said, with two outputs with LAN. Because what we realized is that customers really don't like Wi-Fi. You will never believe that, but in every bigger project, when you say Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi only, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a red light. 
Yeah. So that's the that's the, that's the product that we have. Uh, this biggest one, 8QS uh, product, has a, has a lot of features. That's what we have a lot of icons. We love icons. So you have you, there. You can see a lot of icons. Uh, this 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 overview here reminds that we have their pulse counter even for the for the pulses, and you can program what these pulses or what this switch will do. We have their power metering. These two power PDU for uh, C and for PS are basically the same. Both of them can be montaged to the rack, uh, even vertical, even horizontal. Uh, both of them has a lot of features for the industrial things and so on. And the difference is that the 4C is the Linux based and it's more expensive and it has two RJ45 uh, connectors. So it is, there is a LAN switch embedded. And you were uh, mentioning it's the most popular? Uh, it's most popular, but to be honest, this one product is most popular because we have it. Uh, it's uh, it's since 2018, 2019. This is the same stable product. We didn't never change that, and uh, that's the reason why it's most popular. Today we will replace it by the by the 4KS, which we will launch basically in next uh, few few weeks. And uh, the main reason for replacing is the components. We ask, we have we have a lot of troubles with sourcing the components. Uh, what's interesting on this on this product and on this difference between these two families is that in, when we when we started with Neteo in 2016, uh, there was inside something like a Lua. Are you familiar with Lua programming? Uh, no, I don't know. Okay. Sorry, it's it's, uh, it's it's something similar to Java, but uh, but Lua has one big one big benefit. If you made a mistake in Lua in in the script. Your script will stop working, but whole devices keep going, and that's big beauty of Lua. So we we embedded Lua, and we said, okay, our customers will write their own scripts. Super. Mm, it was not working, not working at all. We have a lot of application notes on our website about how to do this in Lua, how to do that in Lua. In the end of the day, customers will ready to copy copy paste the script we prepared, maybe change the parameters on the heading, and it was all. Where we, have, we have very few real programming customers who want to program their own PDUs. So later on, what we realized is, ha, it doesn't work. So uh, now, very new and very hot, very hot topic is what we came with, and that's the. Let me show you. Let me show you what we have. Uh, by the way, because of the because of the because we are long-term industrial company, we have this kind of glossary on the website. And for the glossary, we have there every time, every time uh, this description, every every topic. So everything what we called uh, what we called open API. If we are talking about the power management, if we are talking about the consumption or kind of sockets and kind of protocol, everything is fully described here. So what I would like to talk about is conditions and rules. So we what we what we came with is this very new feature, and this is this conditions and rule system, which is basically which is basically pre-programmed set. Which is running inside the device. The device is, is is working on the ground by itself, but customer can can change the parameters on the on the web interface. Let me show how it looks like in practical way. Sorry. <coughs> okay. <coughs> For every product on our website, we have a, something we call online demo. This online demo, you click here. Okay, go there with demo demo. And you log in, and you see you see the device which is running in the in 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 Prague office, and it's on public IP address, so you can see and you can you can you can touch it and test everything. It's very useful for programmers and things like that. What I would like to show you is this is this uh, PAB PAB blocks where you enable this PAB and you write here the the, the parameters, and based on the parameters, it start doing something. And this is what we call conditions and conditions and rules, because these are condition. So there is watchdog for pinging to some IP address or things like that, and there is rules means what will happen if. So for example, switch on switch on something if zone something uh, toggle output if there is if there is different current or things like that, and these these things are prepared, and because because nobody want to program it, of course nobody want to program it. In reality, people go to our wiki. And on our wiki, there is this Netio conditions and rules script, and you open the CR something, and here you have a lot of examples of what to do and how to combine this this these two parts, and this is fully described what to do. So we are again coming coming to to have a to to be more user friendly and to be to be to be to be oriented for the customers who need something special with the power. 
There, so you are ready for the copy and paste uh, programming? In the end of the day, what you need to is, okay, I would like to ping every one second, every 10 seconds, every 15 seconds by the parameter, apply, nothing more. So people are lazy to program today. So that's, 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 that's it. Uh, basically, this is the description you were asking. In the beginning, you were asking if we are in a TO focused to the, to the big PDUs, as you can see here on the screen. And uh, yes, this two means passive PDU for just power distribution and active PDU for the, for the, for the big, 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 big uh, monitoring of a lot of devices are for the really data center for these big racks. Uh, each one of these racks costs 20, 30, 50,000 euros. Fine, okay. But this is not really the main business for Netio. Netio is much more uh, on the corridor next to the next to the microwave oh, um, next to the microwave um, connect, connect connectivity on link uh, in the in this audio in this audio rack in the small shop. Uh, these are more applications for Netio. So basically, uh, we are saying that we can replace passive PDUs and bring more intelligence to the power. So that's that's our daily business. What we are doing. Uh, this one slide is awful. It's super long. It's very technical. Let's keep it. <laughs> this one slide is saying all the things you can do with with how how, how all you can control the outputs of the Netio devices by eleven by eleven different uh, things. Can you introduce shortly uh, the company? How many people are there? And are you all yeah. in Czech Republic, yeah. or there's people uh, around? Yes, we are. We are all in Czech Republic. We are something like we are something like uh, sixteen people today. Uh, even even full time job is only something like eleven. Uh, we are located in Prague, and uh, by the way, you can meet us in Barcelona, uh, where we will be. Where we will be. Where we will be on the on the ISE. Uh, come you and come our come our come our visitors. Hall five and uh, talk with us. We will be there on the beautiful stand. Nice, because uh, the world is open now, right? We will see if it will be open <laughs> after two months. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, for now, it looks like maybe some places are not, not like Shenzhen or China, but some other places are open right now. Hopefully, so. hopefully, yeah. So, so that's, that's, about, that's, about, that's, about, that's about it. Uh, uh, because I don't want to go too much into deep and too much onto into 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 products things and things like that. Uh, Sharbax, do you have any question or any specialized specialized something you would like to ask for? I think uh, you know, like if people have questions, they should ask in the in the comments below, or yes. uh, maybe there's a way to contact you if you put it under, or they can find you on a website on your website. You and, can, uh... can find us on our website simply. We have a we have a we have a contact form on the website. Feel free to use a contact form and it's the info email. email. And people check that email. Yeah, that's not that's not going to my email, okay. <laughs> but the forms, <laughs> but the forms are going to my email. Anyway, uh, where you can definitely find us is a LinkedIn. We have a we have a quite quite nice page on LinkedIn. Follow us on LinkedIn, and uh, uh, you have a YouTube fun. channel also. We have a YouTube channel, but to be honest, in the recent recent one year, uh, it's mostly filled by the by the YouTubers and not by us because because uh, yeah. Since since my since since our colleague left, nobody has the time really to make videos, unfortunately. Nice. So I hope this uh, video has been useful for people who are thinking about how to do the best network uh, uh, power plug Control. systems Controls, and everything. Yes. Yes. And, yes. and uh, they can contact you because you have solution. And the the best uh, in the world are the Europeans, right? Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> Absolutely. And, and you're the best European. Uh, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say we are in top five. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Definitely. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let me welcome you in Barcelona on our stand. If you will have any questions about something special, uh, something special for the, for the power, we are here for you. Uh, currently we are not doing, we are not doing three phase. We are doing only we are doing only single phase single phase systems, but this is something we are thinking about. If where 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 to keep where to where to go in the future? If you should go more to the more to the power analyze because this is where we are very strong and we are very unique. But to be honest, there are not so many business yet. If we should if we should go more to the rec oriented products, or if we should go more to the three phase system. All right, cool. So we just did uh, seventy four minutes, so that means we are a feature film. So hopefully yeah. people enjoy watching this instead of a Netflix movie. 
uh, and it was uh, useful for them. We were, we were, I think, I believe we were doing our best. All right. Cool. So thanks a lot. Well, thanks for your thank time. You. Thank you very much. And uh, s let me say hello from Prague. Hi, everybody. Let's check out Prague. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.